move on to let's move on to the very interesting topic now that is how to create shared object repository ways to create shared object repository we know we got like what is a shared object repository now let's see how to use how to create it once after knowing how to create it then we'll see how to reuse it okay so first point how to create it so we have two ways for creating a shared object repository first one using object repository manager using object repository manager or else second one using using export from local export from local you have this option in in local object repository local object repository so one using object repository manager and other one using an option called export from local export from local you get this option in local object repository so we can use these two ways to create a shared object repository file so let's start with the option one object repository manager so let's have a look on this how to work with the object repository manager for that let me take a new test now types of object repository in that we have two types what is the local and shared so now we are discussing about shared object repository in that again we have two means two mechanisms to create that one is using object repository manager and other one using exporting from local so let's have a look on object repository manager go to resources here we go this is your object repository manager object repository manager just click on this object repository manager we'll get this object repository manager it's same looking like a object repository right so this is your object repository this is your object repository and to your right you can see object repository manager almost one and the same not much differences except the major difference is what you need to observe is action one in a local object repository we have a actions implemented here but whereas in a object repository manager there is no question no actions nothing here next in a local object repository there is no concept of save why because it will be saved automatically to that respective action yes whenever we create an action along with that we will get this object repository and it will literally associated that bit we can't change it but here it is nowhere associated with any action so that's the reason they have given us a save button so that we can save it on our desired location here we have a save option here where that save option is not existing in your object repository here so these are the major difference between there are a lot of other difference like open new so that or not not much considerable yes the major is they have no actions and no save button in the sorry they have no actions in the object repository manager and we have no save button in the local object repository these are the things what we need to understand now first 
how to create a shared object repository file using object repository manager the same process as we do it for the local now before going to the topic about object repository manager i'm going to explain you one thing this object repository manager is considered as object repository manager is considered as a tool to create a shared object repository file so what does it mean shared object repository is a file actually which holds some data in it so to create the shared object repository file will be using object repository manager as a tool so object repository manager directly itself is not a object repository object repository is a shared object repository is a file to create a shared object repository file we are taking a help of object repository manager so object repository manager is not at all a shared object repository it's just a tool to create a shared object repository that's it okay so let's see how to create a shared object repository file with this login information okay the thing click on objects click on add object click on application task work same as your local nothing different click on okay it will list out the four filter options boys now just click on the default object type yes so now we have the four filter options you can select any fil filter options from that list you know about that filter options right we have discussed while doing learning process now after adding the information into object repository now i need to save it to my desired location just click on save and i'm uh, i'm saving it to my documents as uh, showmax.psr let me save it it's in my arun kumar documents here yeah. so I have saved it in my documents for the point with dot tsr extension the very very famous uh, question on shared object repository what is the file extension of your shared object repository file that is dot tsr test shared repository tsr stands for test shared repository while saving your object repository basically it will take with dot tsr extension tsr stands for test shared repository you can have a note on it please take that as a note saying as test shared repository okay so i have created that using your local object or using your object repository manager if you want you can create it using the second option that is using using exporting from local okay I have two options one option using object repository manager by using object repository manager we have created it now let us create using exporting from local so to export from local first we need to add the information into the local then we need to export it it looks a bit different actually directly we can write it using object repository manager so why to load it to local and why to Send it as a dot tsr right yes but see here some cases uh, already by chance if you have written in the local okay then if you want you can directly take it there is no need to add it once again if that is the case but whenever you are doing it for the first time if you have not added that into your local so directly we can save it as a object repository manager and we can save it so here have this flights information in my local object repository it is in a local object repository action one so i want to export them simple click on file export local object simple click on export local objects and save it with dot tsr extension let me save it as showmax2 dot tsr 
test the shared repository simple yeah so like this we have saved it after that you want to can delete it or else you can take a new test but the thing is that from the local object repository also we can export them and we can make it as a shade okay now we have two ways now we have done with the two ways creating shade object repository we have created two shade object repository with the two different names showmax and showmax2 yes one contains login information and other contains open order information now let's go ahead and let's see how to reuse them 